a marvelous thing in the top section. Uh, who is Almost there, <laughs> Okay, so your foils, I've been seeing this a lot, where you guys are almost on a horizontal. You're right, I am. On the side here. Yes. So go ahead and make that a little more. Yep. That's <laughs> So remember before how we said we want to paint this first. So you did it in the middle, that was good. Then you want to come up here and then do the ends. Okay. Yep. That way it's going to stop it from sliding down more and keep, it's going to keep it tight at the root. Yes. No. And is this one of those moments where I should be taking and using like two foils back here? So let's see, let's have you take your slice and let's see. Take your section. Yeah. Did you feel it go through all the way to the other side? Mm -hmm. So try it, yeah. Put it in. Push it all the way again. Don't let the tip of the cone. Follow the round. Yes. Don't let it leave the head. Yeah, that was a lot cleaner. Yeah. So maybe you need to use a little more pressure 
But yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. No, no, I think you're good with just one foil. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Moving on, I don't see how all the time's going to Oh, okay. <laughs> but I'm like, no, yeah. let's just start um, in the whole thing. Like, 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 you're going to paint on the edge. Do you start in the back and the sides, or do you start here so you can get it? It's easier to pull that out of your weight. So I would start in the back of the sides because if you paint this first, you're not going to be able to move it out of the way to do the back. Okay, yeah, so I would get this. So take about, um, in the back, take about three section, three foils worth of hair on the bottom starting mm -hmm. and then clip the rest up. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. Is this in the put amount of hair? You said three room, right? Yes, three foils worth. Perfect. Did you take a brush? Yeah. You need another brush? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need two brushes, right? Yeah. Fine. Okay. All right. Do you want to... Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Okay. The only thing I would say is you can you want to put more. You're going to see the hair through it too much. Okay. So it's not going to get a lot of lift. Because, guys, one thing, too, about so the free hand. Yeah. Yes. Okay. My thumbs right? My thumb and fingers are right? I like doing these bleach peels a lot. Yeah. Isn't that's nice. the one, one point five. Yeah. Are okay. Mm -hmm. Try using your whole arm. Yep. So now we're going to go a little high here because you were all right. Yeah. Oh, that's okay because you now it's just. <laughs> Harder because you don't have as much hair here to, right. to blur it, and then it's going to be touching up against the okay. You're right. The foil, so that's okay. The next one, just try to stay a little bit lower. Okay, so now I'm going to. Yep. Did you blur it at the top? I did not. Oh, I didn't put the glove on. Yes. What were you going to say about the free hand? you guys once it dries out it stops processing that's the whole purpose of why we have to paint a lot of lighter on each section so that it stays moist i know we hate the word but when it's that's why if you can see hair through the section that surface is going to get dry really quickly so that's why it has to be so thick because then it won't yep, it'll stay it'll process longer the thicker it's on there so you can't actually feel the hair through either and then right so it's totally coated. This is not coated enough, correct? Correct. So at this point you can kind of just totally palm it and paint like you would if you were just doing an all over color. You know what I mean? If you had your section and you were doing a pull through. That's okay, you can just take it off. And just paint it down like you're trying to saturate all the way through the section. But just stay with our hands. Yep, you can wipe your hands in between. Does anybody need a towel to wipe your hands? Okay. <laughs> okay, you were waiting for me? Make 
Right. No hair showing through. And then, yep, you can do that and put it in your hand. Oh, you're good. Yep, and then it's just simply like you're putting on a pull through, like you're saturating it all the way through, but make sure when you mush it in, you keep your hands at the bottom third. You don't like start to go up too high. <laughs> so like, yeah, so the whole section, so this would be about that much. It's okay, just pull it back in your hand and mush it all back together. You can kind of hold it up high if you need to. There you go, so you can look. So we need more saturation on the bottom. So you wanna, yep, just only paint it on the top and use your hand Paint product in, paint product on, and then use your hand and mush it in. Okay. Yeah, like that. Okay. Just like any color that you're putting on. Paint it back on the surface, yep. Once you push it in, you gotta paint the surface again. There's a risk yep. right there. Looks good. Perfect. Oh. Isn't it fun? It was slow. So you're as you're moving, you're we were up at the top, but you were sliding your hand down. So you gotta hold that piece at the end really tight. So you're still so you started to lose tension there a little bit. Yeah. But that looks good now. Go ahead and use your pinky to blur the top a little bit. So when you blur, you really only need to worry about these very tops. You know, Not even that you want to leave alone because you see how you wiped off. Always, always stay flat. You don't want to push it in this way because when your brush turns like this, you're going too deep. See how your brush goes right through? Yes, right. Also, try to stay away from putting your brush underneath the section until we're all, until we're about at the saturating part. Okay. Right, so only paint the top because we don't want it. So we got it on down here. Yeah. See, and this is too high to be saturated. That's okay. Good. So go ahead and let's let's finish this one good though. So this one he needs a little more product because see we can see a lot of hair through. Let's put this out of the way. Palm it, yep, and then go over the ends a couple times, yep, like that, yep, there you go, to make sure it's already, it's all pushed in there. If you need to kind of take your comb, you need a towel for your hand. <laughs> so I use my comb and I comb each section again, so it's like a nice flat yes. surface. It yeah, makes so sense when simply. you're doing it like this. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. time you paint, close that hand over it. So grab it again. Oh. There you go. And smush. Yep. But keep it, you don't want to drop it. It's like a brush and a blow dryer. That motion where you don't drop it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're so cute. You like go lower down, lower down. Like I'm blow drying. <laughs> Dry it. Okay. Do I look good? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what do we see here? See, I can see through it. Yeah. 
So what's going to happen is the underneath would lighten, but the top is going to be dry and not lighten. That's better. Yeah. There you go. Good. Nice so we have any more to do? Little. Interesting right there. when we were doing the foils, what did we learn? Stay diagonal. Stay diagonal. <laughs> Stand to the side. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, I'm sorry. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really good. Or not. So, yeah, for <laughs> baby lights. And then we said for balayage. Stand to the side. And swipe, and swipe and frost it like a cake. Sweet, frost it like a cake. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want to see hair through it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. What else when we were doing the baby lights? What were some things that you guys had like challenges with or you took you a little bit to figure out? Don't do the two steps. Don't do the two steps? What yeah, do you mean? holding her down. <laughs> Instead of doing yes. that more time, yeah, yeah, oh, right. weaving directly off the scalp. So this is going to help ground us, you guys. So the, the reason um, that we do this is so that now we learned everything, and now we're going to remember what we learned, so that when we do it again, we're going to have all the information be retained. So we weaved off the scalp. We've stayed diagonal. What else? What about baby lights? We had to think about our placements. Our placements. Where to start the application. Where to start mm -hmm. it. Parting. Yeah. The parting. Yeah. Yeah. The parting. And then we, with our color choice, right? With our lightener choices. The lighter on top, darker. Right. Or darker in the back. Yeah. So using high lift and back. Oh, high lift and back. I thought she said yeah. we could use a darker color in the back because it's naturally is a darker thing. Well, on the bottom, you don't have to do the bottom color because that's one of our top by the side. Right? Right. Lighter in the front. I don't want to back up into that. Maybe can right there. Um, yeah, so high lift doesn't isn't going to lift quite as light as lighter, yeah. right? So technically, it is like a darker color. Oh, that's right. You said high lift yeah. tint. Yeah. Awesome. And then for the balayage. I'm getting so, did it feel kind <laughs> of. Kind of weird like at first. We liked it. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. But it's a little bit, so I heard some of you guys saying like, it's kind of easier than I thought it would be, right? Because mm -hmm. it's just, you don't have to take like triangles and sections. You can just grab the hair. Yeah. 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 This is a great technique. I'm so glad that this, this is what we all like kind of chimed in mm -hmm. on and said, yeah, this yeah. is great. Awesome. Anything else with balayage? Remember, what was the mixing ratio of the freehand? One, 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 yes. Down. You guys got that one down. Make sure you can't see the hair through it. Awesome. Make sure you can't see the hair through it. We, that's why I wrote cake. Paint it like a cake. Mm -hmm. All right. And then um, just a couple things I want to remind you guys about is we have education on demand. So on redkin.com, um, or it's actually redkinpro.com. You can create an account and then there's tons of videos on there that you can watch. And we have a YouTube channel as well. And what else? There's the Style Station app. So do you guys all have the Style Station app mm -hmm. on your phones? Mm -hmm. So it's free and on there it's really awesome because there's um, formulas. So you can type in like your client starting level and your target level oh, yeah. and it'll give you formula ideas. Um, there's, con there's consultation scripts in there. So it really helps you to like how to get, um, how to figure out really good questions that you can ask in a consultation. And you can also set your own timers in there, which I was, I've been using for a while now too. So you can, you guys can do that. We don't have to fight over whose timers is, whose timers are whose. Um, yeah, so that's the Style Station app. And yeah, just try to keep like, try to post pictures. And if we're not on Instagram, I encourage you guys to get on there and um, it's really fun. And then you get to just like feel really proud about the work that you've done. And it's really good to post to like even now, like if you want to snap a picture of your mannequin head really quickly and post something and say like, 
just learned a new technique. Who wants to, who wants me to try it on them? And you're kind of planting the seed before you even see the client. So that's something that I encourage you guys to do. And yeah, so you can follow um, Redkin on Instagram is at Redkin also, and you can be featured on Redkin's Instagram page. So every month they have a different theme. Um, and if you post a picture that's pertaining to that theme and you use this, the right hashtag that they give you, then you can be featured on the Redkin Instagram page, which is really oh, cool wow. too. So, all right, so let's all come together and put our hands in the middle. And we're gonna say a word that was like the most, like the best word of the day of what we learned. Who, who has a word? Right? Who has a word? Cake? 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 Like cake? Like frosting on a cake? cake. Alright, we're gonna say cake. Yeah. Okay, I'm three. Ready? One, two, three. Cake! cake. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay.